the back. On the low, counting racks, not running the pack. They show you. I don't love them back. Oh, no, no. What are those? Dojins in my life. All right, guys, welcome to episode 10 of Demon Slayer. Episode 9. I mean, the only thing that's going down right now is we're still in the middle of the fight with these guys. We're trying to make sure that we get the proper blood sample and everything like that in, in this whole thing. Um, we already chopped off the head of the guy with the with the hands with eyes and shit, but we still got to fight off the sister throwing off the balls and with the multi-arm shit looking like a goddamn Overwatch character. But anyway, let's jump into this episode, and I hope you guys enjoy. Over here with this eye hands, bro. Come on, get him. Running away from them clickbait titles. Whirlpool flowing water. He was too late. He got too close. Ooh, you saw how he stepped on the floor. The whole floor cracked. Boom. Dunzo. Look at his face. Chop. Episode 10, Together Forever. Together Forever? Damn. Boom. There we go, got him. It's done. It's done, bro. No more hands for you. No more clickbait titles for you, bitch. Let's go. You see all them balls flying around? Let's go. Yup, it did. It gained, it gained power because of the freaking arrow's momentum. Ew, his eyeballs out. Ooh. Take his blood sample. His hands are still moving. Oh! 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 Stop him. Yo, Nezuko. Somebody. Yo! Them clickbait titles are still flying around after he chopped his head off? He getting thrown into deep space? How's he still making freaking shit? Are you serious? Bro! How they, when they're gonna stop? Bro, this is crazy. The arrows keep pulling him. Bro, he's decaying. How the arrows still hitting? He gotta keep doing moves. He gonna be so winded after this. Yo, he just gotta keep doing moves until the guy dies. Oh my gosh, come on, man. Is it finally done? Finally. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, he about to land on his spine. Oh my goodness, man. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Like the dude, the dude's head is chopped off and he's still controlling clickbait titles. He said, I got a broken rib and leg. He gonna fight like Zoro from One Piece? He gonna put the sword in his mouth? Are you kidding me? They still haven't defeated this girl, bro. What about this guy? Wasn't you, wasn't he supposed to be some sort of gangster or something? Oh my gosh, come on. Bro. This kid, come on. This kid better dodge this. Come on. Nezuko, she grew her feet back already? How she grew her feet back so fast? Oh my gosh, she sees him as her little brother. <laughs> she hit him with the Yoshi Yosh. Why is she kicking him? Did she give her like a, some sort of, did she give her some sort of thing? She playing soccer for real now. What, they're having a soccer battle? Yo, they just kicking the ball back and forth. Are you serious? They hitting that shit mad hard. Damn, look at the veins popping out. Come on, Nezuko, don't give up. She just kicking that shit. Boom, boom, boom. Damn, that's Nezuko's own power. Without devouring human blood, just her on her own? Damn, look at her veins. She hitting that shit with her Timberlands. Bleak. Whoa. Oh my God. She got to do something. She's going to go all out now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, finally this girl about to do something. Oh, that man's nothing but a coward, Michael Jackson? He lives in constant fear of something. Oh, he does kind of. Oh, that's why demons, what? He don't want the demons to go up against him. She's casting a spell. She's getting him with like a. I feel like that's like a genjutsu or some shit. Like she she get. Uh oh, it's a wrap. Yo, she's making him tell the truth. It's like her truth telling serum. Wait, did she just snitch? Oh, she snitched. Damn. He's killing her from a distance. Oh. What did she say though? Hold on, chat. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna have to go back for like two seconds. All right. So I looked back. I looked back at it. So basically, she said his name. He, She wasn't supposed to say his name, but she said Lord Kibutsuji, a.k.a. Michael Jackson. That's crazy. So I guess if you say his name, that's why he does this all the time. Like, yo, keep your mouth shut. Don't say shit. And she said shit. What came out her mouth, though? Damn, these big-ass hands just came out her whole shit. Damn. Oh, my gosh. Damn. Oh, where does the hand go after it crushes her head? Oh my god, it's just the eye. At least get the blood sample. I mean, like, I know it's kind of fucked up to say, but at least take the blood sample. Get the blood sample. Damn. That's the curse. 
Her physical body will be destroyed, but by keep oh my god. By Michael Jackson's cells still inside of her? Oh, they're too weak. Oh, so we can't even take their blood sample? Are you talking? But what do you mean too weak? They were so difficult to defeat. At least take some of her, but exactly. Take some of the shit. Oh my god, is he gonna pop? Because he could probably play with me. Well, with the hand? Just like a little kid. Jesus Christ. I don't want to feel bad for the demon, but now I gotta feel bad for it. Come on, man. There goes the sunlight to, to finish her off. Killed by the... Michael Jackson curse, man. So that guy is just a sleaze ball. He's just using everybody. That's that's real messed up. But to be honest, I'm a little scared now for him to fight him. He had a hard time fighting Mr. Arrow Man and the lady throwing the ball. So to fight Michael Jackson himself, I, I'm a little scared to see how like what kind of power he can demonstrate in a battle. Yushiro is an asshole, like like that guy. No, he was actually trying to ditch us then, because you see, like um, when the lady tries to correct him, he always says, "I'm joking." So he was dead serious when he was saying in the other episode, like, "Yo, let's leave in the middle of the battle and let's ditch him." He was serious. He an asshole. Aww. <laughs> he's like, "Don't touch her." Yo, he's literally, he's literally her bitch. He is her bitch. She hit her with the yosh yosh. Look at her eyes. Wait, so he was about to die as a human, and then instead he became a demon so he could live? <laughs> he don't want Nezuko to stay. He wants to be the only one there. He's so jealous. Oh my gosh. But it's like, if he leaves Nezuko there, it's like, Nezuko been coming in clutch though, low key. Like, whenever he needs, like, a backup or something, Nezuko will come through. There you go. Stay together. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, I wouldn't leave her. She comes hella clutch. Oh, your kid sister's a beauty. Okay, you better say she cute. Because before he was like, oh, she ugly. And they, and they were like, how dare you? Nezuko's ugly? Nananta. That bird is annoying. Kill the bird. Please marry me. He wants coochie no matter what. He's like, please give me some coochie. I'm about to die any day. I at least got to get laid once. <laughs> he said, please marry me. I need some type of love and affection before I die. All right, so the cool part is now we get to finally see who the blonde-headed kid is. But, I mean, so far from what we're seeing, I mean, he he feels like he already going to get yeeted pretty soon. He's just like, yo, I need some love and affection. Give me them cheeks. I could die tomorrow for all we know. I don't want to die a virgin. I mean, I mean, I mean, he being real, though. He being real. But, anyway, this, this was a great chapter. Thank God we got to see those two guys get defeated. Thank God the girl actually, um said the guy's name and she actually she actually defeated herself she basically pulled the grenade on herself and freaking blew up like martyrdom or some shit but at the end of the day we got to beat the demons sad to say that they weren't the actual 12 moons there were they were how do you say they were brainwashed to thinking they were one of the 12 moons by michael jackson but they really weren't but at the end of the day, we just got to keep moving forward. Um, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you guys like this episode, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream. Peace out, brothers.